What's up guys, I'm Marcus Buff Bagwell and today we're going to talk about blading in professional wrestling. Well, first of all, you know, blading I think is the right pronunciation, but but it was, I think it was called gigging a lot of times too is another word, but blading uh, was something in professional wrestling that was through the 80s was, the terminology was red means green. So every time you bled, it meant money, you know? So your Tommy Riches and your Dusty Roses and your Ric Flairs, I mean, it was about, you really were taught that if you bled, it, it, it made more money. And it did make a lot of excitement. It made a lot of controversy to people to this day still think it was, you know, ketchup packets. And it's not, it's real blood, but you got to rig up the rate, the little blade, and there's a way to do it. And I saw how Ric Flair did it one time, and I'll explain as we go. But first of all, it's important for you to know that WCW uh, was rated G uh, under Ted Turner. So right before I went to Ted Turner, my experience with blading is I was my very first match in my entire wrestling career, I was – my name was the fabulous Fabian from North Georgia wrestling. And I was at, I was in Brazelton, Georgia and I gigged, I gigged myself. And, um, I remember getting to the back and a guy that played his gimmick, his name was Nick Busick, uh, for North Georgia championship wrestling. But he went to the WWF not long after that as the Mario guy. Um, he had the little hat, the cigar, the big mustache, you know, he looked like Mario, but that guy, Nick Busick saw me in the dressing room and he goes, son, you've only got a few chances to make it in this business. He goes, and one of them are your looks. He goes, why would you put a blade to your forehead? And I remember looking down and I had $25 that I got paid $25 for putting a blade in my head. And I said to myself, I will never, ever. I felt so stupid uh, over this guy's explanation. I said, I will never do that again. And thank God I never had to do it again. But several things took place because of that. So that was, you know, 89 or 90 when I had that first match. And then in 91 with WCW, you know, they were G-rated under Turner. So again, no bleeding. And... In 1988, it was it became kind of pretty loud knowledge that you know AIDS was a thing, and everybody was petrified of AIDS. So with AIDS coming on as a factor and WCW being G-rated under Turner, it was kind of a no-brainer. Blading kind of was obsolete. So at WCW, if you bleed and didn't mean to bleed. That's called you got hard weighed. So if a chair hits you and you're bleeding, that means you got you're bleeding, but it was a hard way. You got you you're bleeding the hard way. Um, and if that happened at WCW, it went to the hard camera. The camera went up on it. it. It went instantly to the hard camera. WCW did not allow bleeding. They did not want it. It was a bad thing. We were G rated. So it would go to the hard camera while right on another, right on the next channel with Vince McMahon, the cameras are right up on them bleeding. I'm sure they were, you know, blading. There is no ketchup packets in wrestling. It's always real blood. It's a matter of just, you know, they just get a little razor blade and they put the, the uh, they put it on the wristband and they make the blade just the tip of it. And it's got tape on it so you can hold it. And you don't got to gauge the depth. You just stick it in and go an inch. You know, if you if it don't bleed, you stick it in and go an inch again. And how you do that is, is the guy will take the fall that's going to that's going to bleed, and the camera comes back up to the to the talent that's not on camera, and then he'll go back to the person, and he's already you know kind of messed with his forehead, and he's able to bleed when he comes back up. A lot of times, let's say if I did have to bleed, if I did have to bleed, I'm, I'm not comfortable doing it. I'm a little bit nervous about it. A lot of guys would be. So the person in the match with you would, would, gig, would gig you for yourself. He would gig you. 
Um, so he would have the tape in his, he would have the, the razor blade in his wrist tape. He would, y'all would take a bump somewhere outside. He would do the gigging for you in case you were too nervous. I never had to do it, but if I would have had to do it, that's what I would have had done. I'd had Rick or whoever I'm wrestling that's better at it than I am. I would have had them, you know, give me the gig mark. Um, I do believe and there was times we did it still at that during WCW where we got it okay that Rick needed to bleed for something. We got it okay that somebody needed to, to bleed. So I do believe the saying that red means green because it, it makes it interesting and then people wanna people wanna believe that it's that it's real and that helps them think it's more real and um so it, it, if nothing else, it caused controversy. Blading is definitely uh, a way that made wrestling more interesting. And but just for the wrestler himself, the 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 long term effect of how Dusty's forehead had looked before he passed, and God, I mean, keep in mind to me, I'm such a Dusty Rhodes fan that it was cool. It was cool. But I don't want my forehead to look like that. But it was cool to see Dusty's that way. Um, and I think he thought it was cool. So to each his own. But for me, I really believe what Nick Busick said. You know, I'm, I got a few things going for me. And, and my looks was one of them. Why would you want to take that away? So blading became a no thing for me. And thank God the company I, I chose for my 11-year career, 10 or 11-year career was WCW and again we were G-rated under Turner but I do believe that red means green no matter what. If you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos and if you're interested in cool NWO shirts like this one right here or other wrestling sports merch click the link in the description of the video to jump over to Fanatics and place your order today. Ha <laughs> ha!